Hey everyone, I wanted to take a minute to make a video about a couple of things that are really important to me and that I know that a lot of other people have struggled with too and that is my personal struggle with ADHD growing up and how I dealt with it and how I, after 17 years, got off of Adderall. Um, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about the supplements that I'm using now to continue to help benefit my brain function. Um, I know that this is one of those topics that um, people don't really talk about as much. It's like everyone kind of jokes like, oh, you're so ADD or I'm so ADD, I forgot this. But it's like it's actually a thing that people have and that people are diagnosed with. Um, when I was seven years old, I remember going to a pediatrician doctor, a special doctor um, with my parents and I was diagnosed with ADHD and I had to take a piece of paper to all of my teachers and have them sign it knowing that I was taking this drug called Adderall or Ritalin and I've tried them all, I've been on all of them and that's kind of where my journey began and I was just one of those kids that just was like, my brain was like out of the box, like could never get me to sit still, could never get me to focus and like certain things just took me so much longer. Um, but I was, um, we, my parents and I realized like, okay, Adderall really helps her. Ritalin really helps her. And so I was on it for ever. It felt like I was, I started when I was seven and I think I got off of it around 23, 22, 23, which is 17 years of being on this intense, intense drug. And Adderall is one of those drugs. It's a mind altering drug. It is in amphetamine of some kind. So it's almost like a strain of meth and it, it just does something to your brain that is so powerful and as I kind of got older you know I was still on it my doctors never took me off of it I needed it in college especially during college um, and I was really I felt like I was high functioning on Adderall and I never really knew anything different either and so the problem began when I watched a Netflix documentary about Adderall and the effects that it has long term on someone's body. And so around this time of my life, I was really like, what is this doing my body? I was learning more about being healthy. I was learning more about what the things that we put in our body and how they affect us. And so I was really curious about it. I was like, is this going to affect me down the road? Is this going to affect me if I want to have kids down the road? Is this going to, am I going to be so dependent on this drug that I won't be able to get off of it? So I started doing research. I watched this Netflix documentary and it just like changed my idea on what Adderall is. And I think what really set me off into this whole like adventure of learning more about it was I accidentally I went on vacation for 10 days and accidentally forgot my Adderall and 10 days to go without a drug like Adderall is extremely long and it's like it could be dangerous because it's like a brain drug like a mind drug um, but I felt like I was fine. I went these 10 days on vacation without Adderall and I was, I felt like I was pretty like high functioning. And so I thought about, I was like, shoot, I probably don't actually need this drug anymore. So I went cold turkey and I wasn't super educated about it. I just was like, eh, it's Adderall. What's the, what's the hurt? I'll just stop taking it all together. Cold turkey. And I went into like a serious depression. I was having major withdrawals and I couldn't figure out what was wrong I, I remember I had a boss who was like what's wrong with you like you sleep all the time you're upset all the time and I was like oh my gosh I am like I didn't really realize it but I was like my withdrawals from Adderall were putting me into like a serious depression and I didn't really have anything to be depressed about other than my brain just wasn't working the way that it had been for 17 years and so I went back on Adderall because I was like that was scary. I don't want to do that again. And uh, I started doing more research. Like, how can I get off of Adderall? Like, I need to get off of it because it's dehydrating my brain. It's going to start causing these long-term effects. And I just want to live a life without it. I knew that I was going to eventually have to be off of my dad's health insurance plan. And I was going to have to start paying for it. And it's an expensive drug. And so I needed to figure out ways of how to get off of it. So I uh, went to somebody's house and she had told me about uh, CBD water and I'm not selling CBD water at all I, I don't sell it anymore but um, I will tell you guys that um, once I started taking if you guys want to know more about this product I can definitely tell you about it um, but the minute I started taking CBD water it was like this like I can't even explain it it's like this very potent like the purest form you can get 
I was fine. I wasn't, I felt no withdrawal effects. I literally went from day one of having Adderall to day two of not having Adderall and being on the CBD water and I was perfectly fine. I had no withdrawal effects. I had no depression. I had no uh, repercussions of take, of being off of it and I haven't been on Adderall since. And that was, I think, three years ago. So the thing about and I will tell you more about that product if you need information. Um, and I have since stopped taking CBD water because my brain has completely weaned itself off of Adderall, so I don't need it anymore. Um, but it did help that weaning process, and it was amazing, and I feel great. Um, but the thing about ADHD is that it doesn't just leave your brain. You don't just, like, cure yourself of it. Like, I will always have ADHD as long as I can live. Um, but the thing is, now I'm not in school anymore, so I don't really need it. I don't need, like, a drug to help me, you know, um, but I still definitely have ADD. And so how do I function with it now? Like, how do I deal with it now? So I have been going through a whole process of like dealing with gut health, which is a totally different thing. Um, but along my journey, I came along these products um, to help my mental health, to help my brain function. And I want to talk about them with you. These are the four products that I use every single day that have really helped my, not only just like my brain function and the ADD thing, but have also helped my mental health. My moods, my anxiety, my focus have all gotten like so much better. And, you know, I was, I do deal with some anxiety um, and I think we all do. Um, mental health is one of those other topics that we don't talk about so much, but I'm here to talk about it today. And um, you don't, I believe very firmly that there are natural ways to go about depression or mental health issues first before going to a more extreme, like a drug of some kind. So if, if there's a way that you can naturally help your brain feel better, help your mental health get better than I am all for. And so that's why I love these products because they're 100% natural. Um, okay, so this is the products I take every single morning. First one is meant to focus. So these are Amari products. I do sell them now. Um, the reason I love this one, it's for focus and cognition. So not only does it help you get like more focused, you take it first thing in the morning, it helps your cognition. So if you have one of those jobs where it's just like, like if you're like me, you have a personal training job where it's just go, 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 go. You have to have like that like energy and that like laser focusness is that a word you have to have it um and so this is one product that i take and i absolutely love it it's for mental sharpness clarity creativity and cognitive functioning that's product number one next one i take is meant to sync it optimizes your gut health access and communication so actually our brains and our guts are linked very closely um, they say that your gut is like the second brain of your body. Um, so optimizing the communication sync of those two, the chemical messengers between your brain and your gut to with the clinically studied key ingredients in meant to sync. So this is the second one that I take. I love it. Um, and then these are the powders that I drink every morning. And guys, I'm not even going to lie to you. I know this is so annoying because everyone's like, they taste great, but they tastes so good like it tastes like kool-aid it's so good so um first one is menta menta biotics this one doesn't actually have a taste really um but it's just a powder that you mix with water first thing in the morning um it says featuring amari's mw3 proprietary blends menta biotics is the most comprehensive combination of unique strains of probiotics, so it helps with your gut health, um, prebiotics, and phytobiotics. We don't really know, we don't have a lot of products for phytobiotics, but all three of them are super important um, and that have been scientifically shown to improve your mental wellness. And so this is also really good um, for those of you with anxiety or if you get overwhelmed very easily, overthink things, or if you just need that mental clarity, this is an awesome product. And the last one that I take, this is the one that tastes the best, I think. It's, it's just super greens. It's super food. It's like basically three servings of fruits and vegetables all in one. But I think it's so amazing that we have kind of forgotten that we were given all of the vitamins and the minerals and everything to make our bodies function at a high performance through fruits and vegetables. Um, but it's really hard to get all those servings in one day. So that's what I love about this. You need literally one scoop and you get three servings of fruits and vegetables. Um, the back of it says, uh, 
This product provides the phytonutrient equivalent of three servings of fruits and veggies per scoop. Uh, this phytobiotic rich blend delivers cellular level anti-stress benefits. So if you're stressed like me, then this is a good one. And who's not a little stressed in life, you know? Um, it helps protect cells from a variety of different stressors, helping the brain and gut run at peak proficiency. Um, another video I think I need to make is how stress affects our body. It's ridiculous like if you are constantly getting sick if you are dealing with depression anxiety any of that your stress levels have a lot to do with it. if your skin isn't doing well if your hair is falling out stress is a major major thing that needs to be addressed and I want to make a video about how to deal with that but that's another video so these are the product these are a few of the products that I use for my cognitive abilities for my mental health I take them every single day and it's so important that you take products that benefit not just like your body from here down but also your body from here up am I right or am I right all right guys if you want to know anything more about this if you want to know more about my uh, uh, journey with ADHD with Adderall CBD water please let me know. Please message me. I would love to help you guys. All right. I am going to let you go and I'll see you later. Bye.